What's up everybody? My name is Brock Bailey and today I want to go over how to import LUTs into Final Cut Pro 10. So for those of you who do not know what a LUT is, it's pretty much just a filter for your video. Think of a filter for a photo but this is for video. It's a .cube file that you import into your guys' Final Cut Pro. You will put that .cube file on top of your clip and it overall will just make the image look better. Keep in mind there will have to be basic color adjustments as you can't just put a LUT on top and expect it to be movie quality film after you do it. So I wanna teach you in another tutorial how to color grade. But today I just wanna simply go over how to install a LUT into Final Cut Pro 10 because I get questions and questions, how do I install a LUT on the Final Cut? So today I wanna go over that simply with you right on the computer, so let's get into it. All right guys, so this is pretty easy overall. What you first want to do is you want to make sure you have the most up-to-date Final Cut Pro 10. 10.4, I believe, is the newest update. It kind of gives you more features. This is probably the best Final Cut Pro 10 they've made. So once you've downloaded that or updated that, you want to open up Final Cut Pro 10, which we're going to do now. So then what you want to do, I have a few clips right here, but we want to go over to the Effects tab right over here. We want to go down to Search. And then all we want to do is type in LUT and then custom LUT. This will, be in, this will be part of Final Cut Pro 10, the newest update. So we're going to double click on that. Now what you see is that it applied this effect to this clip. But right now it obviously hasn't done anything because we haven't inputted a LUT yet. So right now we want to go down here. We want to choose custom LUT, click that. And then we are going to go to our desktop. We're gonna to go to his LUTs right here, Cody Blue's LUT pack, and we're gonna to go to LUT files, and then you wanna hit open. I don't wanna do each individual one. I don't wanna select all these because it will make it more chaotic in your guys' dropdown, which I'll show you in a sec. I wanna click on this folder and I wanna hit open. So once you hit open, obviously you still haven't seen anything yet. We need to go down in this tab right here. And right now there's his folder right here. It was called LUT files. And then all of the LUTs are right here, ready to go. You'll just have to click on one to make it go on the clip. But like I was mentioning before, you don't wanna have them individual because then it'll be all in this list right here. And it's just, I think it's personally just harder to figure out where each of the LUTs are. I have them specifically organized. So I have a white balance correction LUT pack I have right here. I have some generic log LUTs here, but his are the LUT files. So let's just take a look at one of these. I'm gonna try Orient Tempe. This is one of my favorites of his. It's kind of like more of that teal orange look. So let's apply the clip. And as you can see, it kind of did something good. Uh, I shot in Vlog, so this is gonna have the same effect as it would in a Sin 4 profile, but really simple. Let's go do a basic color correction. So let's just add some contrast. We'll add some brightness here. We'll add some saturation. And overall, it's looking pretty good, but there's a few things more I wanna do. I wanna go into the curves. I wanna curve it up a little bit. I think this gets it very more film looking, more cinematic. Uh, so I brought down the contrast, putting up the little midtones, bring down the highlights. If you guys like the fade look, you just pretty much bring it up like this. But for this one, I'm just gonna keep it contrasty. And then after the curves, I feel like it's kind of cool. So I'm gonna go down in the wheels, color wheels, which is new to Final Cut if you haven't downloaded the new update. And I'm gonna go over this master. I'm just gonna bring this up a little bit where it's a little bit more orange. So it kind of, look at that. It kind of gives you a nice little orange cast, kind of a more orange, because this is the kind of LUT you would wanna use in this situation. So yeah, and then overall it looks pretty good. So look at before and after before and after. You can go back in and make a couple adjustments, like maybe I wanted a little bit more contrasty, maybe add a little bit more mid-tones. So I think that overall is a great image. As you can see, before, after, before, after. It's a huge difference. So that's kind of how you guys use the LUT. Let's try another one here. We'll go to his Let's just go to Humphreys. That's always a good saturated one. So we want to go back to the wheels because we don't need this anymore. So let's go here, get rid of that. Go back to the curves, do that. So now let's restart the curves. 
bring down the contrast, bring that up a tiny bit, go back to, I feel like it's a little less saturated, so we wanna go back to the board, bring up the saturation, maybe in the mids, maybe in the shadows here a little bit, maybe in the highlights even a little bit. And yeah, that also looks great too. So as you can see, before, after, that's a great LUT as well. Um, those are some of my favorites, Humphreys and Orient Tempe. Mount Rose is pretty good. It gives you a very bright look. Um, another one is Freel, kind of gives you a cooler flat look. If you guys are into the more cooler flat looking tones, kind of earthy, um, but I like kind of Orion and I kind of just go from there. I also, I'm also making some LUTs right now that I hope to share with you guys in the near future, specifically towards weddings, but they can also be used for wedding travel. Um, but this is Cody Blue's LUT pack. It's super awesome, super effective. And like I said, make sure your, your LUT is on top and we'll have your guys' basic corrections underneath. And then you can kind of go from there. Um, but I'm gonna do a more in-depth tutorial on how to color grade in another video coming up. But this is pretty much just letting you guys know how to import the LUTs. And now every time you wanna do it, you wanna go down here, click LUT in the search bar, custom LUT, then it's gonna pop up here and then you're able to work from there. So that's how you import LUTs into Final Cut Pro 10. Well, there you have it. It's super easy, super simple. Now you guys know what kind of LUTs do. So it's up to you guys to go out there, find some LUTs that you like, implement them into your films and make it look awesome. I have a few LUT packs that I'm working on right now, specifically towards weddings, but they can also be used for travel. Those should be out very soon. But while you guys are waiting for those, I would go get Cody Blue's LUT packs as they are awesome. They work really great with GH5. They're meant for Sony, the Sin 4 profile but they work awesome for GH5. I use it for a lot of my aerial footage as well. As you guys can tell in the video, I was using his LUTs and it overall looked pretty great. So if you want something immediately, go check out his channel. The links are always in his description on where he sells his LUTs. Also, Cody's LUTs will be in my description, so you can just go straight from there if you don't wanna to go to his channel. But I advise you to go to his channel as he's always producing amazing content. I also wanna mention that I will be doing a color grading tutorial in Final Cut Pro 10, kinda of show you guys what I do, some tips and tricks and stuff to just make your overall films look good. It's gonna be a more in-depth process of how I do things to make your guys' films look awesome. This was just a brief overview on how to import the LUTs. So next time we do a tutorial, you guys will already have that set up and then we can dive right into editing. We just got back from Hawaii. I'm in the middle of doing a Hawaii travel film as we speak. Also, I'm working on a few weddings that I'm editing, elopements some that I did here in Phoenix. If you guys are interested in filming weddings and editing weddings, I'll be glad to inform you guys on how I do things specifically. Not saying what I do is great, but I'll show you how I archive footage, I'll show you how I shoot footage, edit footage, deliver to clients, all that kind of stuff. I have a ton of information for you guys, especially if you wanna become a wedding videographer specifically. Me and Cody kind of tag team travel and weddings, so he has a lot of great information, specifically for Sony cameras. I shoot mainly on Panasonic, so that gives you guys a good mix for Sony users and GH5. I hope this video was informative for you guys. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed, as I plan on creating more content on this channel every single week, weekly uploads, that I can promise you guys. So that's gonna do it for this video. We'll catch you guys in the next one. But until then, I'll see you guys later. Peace.